What's going on guys? Oddball Reefer here back at it with another video. In today's video I'm doing a species spotlight video on the walking dendro. Let's get to it. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the walking dendro. Now most of you have maybe heard of it, maybe not. Um, it's a really unique coral that's actually not seen too often in the hobby. Um, a lot of people that do have them don't tend to have the greatest success. And I'm really not sure why that is. Uh, they're rather easy to keep, uh, but you just have to watch them because they do have a sembucolid worm in them uh, in most specimens. That is, they will actually pretty much walk them around the aquarium. Now that's why they get the name Walking Dendro because this worm pretty much pushes itself and moves the coral around the aquarium. I had both specimens in here, but then I realized it was running into a lot of the rock nems. I have a couple rock anemones in here, and they were kind of bumping into them, and I could see the uh, tissue on the outside of the dendro, um, or the hydrosamia, actually kind of receding. Not really receding, but you could tell it was getting irritated. So um, I'm trying to decide if I want to take the rock flowers out of here and put the dendros back in here and let them kind of have free range in the tank or if I want to do something else with those, maybe even another nano tank just for those and get a few more of them. I have been after these specific corals for a very long time. Um, I was actually able to secure the two specimens that I have that are currently in my 75 gallon in a little container. Uh, here's the one right here that looks really, really good. Uh, they were both beautiful specimens when I picked them out at Coral Reef Aquariums in Tampa, Florida. Um, super cool specimens. Like I said, you really don't see them too often. Uh, I've seen them at shows a couple times before, but even then, I wasn't entirely sure what they were, and I always like to do some research on a coral before I specifically purchase it, especially if I've never really seen or messed with that specific coral in the past. Um, so I would recommend definitely if you're keeping the walking dendro, if you want to give it a good environment, give it a good sand bed, uh, like an open sand bed, kind of like this lagoon is, just rock in the middle. It can pretty much, they can crawl wherever they want in here. Um, I guess like scoot themselves, I should say. The worms, moving them around. Just give them some space so they can kind of move around, kind of find an area where they're happy. When I originally first put them in here, they actually kind of moved to like the dimmer spot in the tank. These are photosynthetic though, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you don't want to like just kind of throw them in your tank where there's a really dark spot. So just keep that in mind. But the worms will move the coral, especially if you have a simpucolid worm in the coral um so just keep that in mind give it a good sand bed and i would recommend keeping them in a smaller tank uh, you have less chances of losing them i actually put the two in here and one of them moved and i actually couldn't find it and it ended up tucking itself underneath one of the rocks so i'm like oh if that was like a huge tank like if i just for say threw them in my caribbean tank uh they'd probably find a spot where i could barely see them um so definitely find a tank that you're going to be able to enjoy the specimens in um, they are really cool. They open up. They're they're gorgeous. They really are some of my favorite coral now that I actually have them um, It's just super cool to actually see a symbiotic relationship um, With the symbucula worm and the actual coral itself um, Now the worms they do require a little bit of care. Uh, they're not really difficult to keep alive um, I have noticed I have a dead spot in this specific tank and they both kind of um, migrated over to that spot where some of the food gets settled and i think they eat a little bit of the detritus and the leftover food that kind of settles on the bottom here so like i said they're rather easy to keep you just got to give them a little bit more care than what you would for say a, a soft coral or whatever um keep your tank parameter stable obviously keep your ph 8.3 right in that range 8.4 um try to keep your parameter stable with as you should with any coral um so yeah super cool specimen Super glad I was able to acquire these two specimens. Super excited, super stoked. And be sure to leave in the comments what you think I should do with this tank. If I should try to fill out the sand bed with rock nems or if I should let the walking dendros have at it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals. We'll see you next time.